useful railway. Sometimes, Thomas brings passengers up to Arlesborough Junction, where they can ride on the mini-engines of the miniature railway. Hello, Bert. Hello, Mike. Oh, hello, Rex. Hello, Thomas. Thomas likes the miniature engines. His passengers do, too. But they don't take the little railway very seriously. Oh, they're so cute and so tiny. Oh, look at it. Look at them. I know. It's just like a toy railway, isn't it? A toy railway, indeed. We're not a toy railway. We may be small, but we do a lot of heavy work and are really useful. Of course we are, Mike. Keep your steaming. They're only human. <laughs> Rex is right, Mike. The passengers didn't mean to insult you. Mike is often grumpy. He loses his temper much too easily. Oh, show, show! What is the matter with you silly animals? Get out of the way! Oh, some of us have work to do, you know. That night, in the sheds, Mike complained to Rex and Bert about the sheep. Sheep are nothing but trouble. I don't see the point of them silly things. <laughs> they're silly, but they're useful too, Mike. Useful? <laughs> don't talk nonsense, Rex. It's true. Farmers sell their wool for people to make clothes from. You know, those things they wear instead of paint. Quite right, Rex. The engines were surprised to see that Mr. Duncan, the small controller, had come to their shed. The farmers have asked us to take their wool to market. If we do it well, it will show everyone that we're a really useful railway. So, you must all do your best. I don't understand, sir. We can't drive sheep along the line. They wouldn't go straight. It's like what happened to Mike today. Don't be silly, Bert. We don't drive the sheep. We take their wool in bales on our cars. This is an easy job. <laughs> easy? I don't know how easy it will be, Rex, but seeing as you seem to know all about it, you can take the first train. Thank you, sir. I'm telling you, it'll be easy peasy. I bet it won't be easy. The next morning, Rex took some cars and set out to collect the wool from the farmers. They started loading at the far end of the line. The wool from the sheep had been made into big bales that could be stacked on Rex's cars. The farmers helped to tie them down. Rex stopped to load wool from each farm along the way. Rex! Rex! Watch out! Slow 
small controller came to see what had happened. I'm sorry, sir. I tried to slow down, but I didn't realize the line was blocked until I passed under the bridge. Uh, I lost control of the load. I, I took the corner too quickly and, well, <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Duncan. Don't tell me. Tell Rex. Sorry, Rex. Soon, they sorted out Rex's cars. Bert lost no time in taking them away to deliver the wool to market. I guess maybe pulling wool trains isn't as easy as it looks, eh, Rex? <laughs> oh, poor Rex had to stay where he was. He didn't like it one bit. Hmm. That looks like an easy job, all right, lying there on the bank. Oh. I say, what happened here? Oh. Eventually, they managed to hoist Rex back onto the rails. And Bert and Mike helped bring him home. I suppose that accident served me right for being so full of myself. No, it wasn't really your fault at all. It was that farmer, Willie. The small controller was in the yard when they arrived back at Allsborough Junction. Ah, Rex, you're back. Glad to see you. I'm proud of you, Rex. Indeed, I'm proud of you all. Thanks to Rex managing to slow down when he did, the accident caused little harm. And you, Bert and Mike, have worked like heroes. I think our customers all admire the way we manage. Oh, well, good. <laughs> yeah. Splendid job. Never overlook a little engine. Hey. They may have thought we were a toy railway before, but now everyone says we're really useful. And when we finish with the wool, they've promised us plenty more work. Ah, oh, extra work won't be a problem for us, sir. Just ask Rex. It'll, It'll be, be easy peasy. peasy.